welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. Boy, oh boy, new car day. Who's ready? So instead of just telling you how much I paid for the car and what is the mileage on this car, I want to play a little game with you guys. I want you to try to guess the mileage and the price, which I will reveal at the end of the video. But without any further ado, this is what I bought. So this is uh, Spicy Red, that is the name of the color. This, my friends, is a 2004 Jetta GLS. And it is in pristine condition, as you can tell. You know, aside from the little imperfections that I will show you guys throughout this video. Little background story on the car. His last owner and only owner was a 93 year old lady that has unfortunately passed away. May she rest in peace. She did have a small encounter with the side of her garage. And that is basically the bulk of the damage to the body on this car. I will obviously be addressing all of this, but clearly that's a pretty substantial dent. But I'm sure my body guy is gonna take really good care of me. So what do you guys think? Pretty clean, right? Anybody care to guess the mileage on this thing? All right, let's check out the trunk together. This is my first time as well. There we go. Needs a little bit of lubrication. Wow. Definitely gonna have to be cleaning this. Do stay tuned for part two of this series and uh, which I will be giving this car a full detail. Wow, what is that? Actually, <laughs> check this guy out. I have to fish him out. But yeah, very clean example. We got some spare nuts and caps there, which I had noticed to be missing. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like this spare tire has never been used. Still got some leftover tags. Needless to say, not an ounce of rust in here. This is all very clean. That should be a telltale sign of uh, the mileage. It is important to note that this was garage kept. And this uh, owner did add these things to it. I'm not gonna take them off. I actually do like the way that looks and the function obviously. So this GLS came with a leather package. And what do you get with that? Obviously leather seats, the cards on the door, also leather. Steering wheel is leather. And another one, which I didn't know, that shift knob is also leather. Very cool. So this GLS is fully loaded. Other than the leather seats, you get heated seats which do work and your updated uh, monsoon radio which back then obviously was a pretty big deal and we got it here on the glove box your owner's manual the owner's daughter which i made the deal with obviously sunroof she's going to be sending me the receipts for this car but yeah, other than that, you got your typical expected headliner sagging issues from Volkswagens. I mean, you guys know how that goes. But yeah, these seats, they're gonna clean up really nice. They look very nice. And look at this, this is a shocker to me. So center console, you guys tell them, let me know when was the last time you saw one that actually has the lock still in there. See what I mean? Nice and clean. That door still sliding really nicely. Back here, it goes without saying that uh, chances are 
probably nobody ever sat back here. So, yeah. Why don't we give it a shot? Uh, wow. This is really nice. It's actually pretty comfortable. These door cards, man. They look like new. Yeah, you know. Like I mentioned before. You Volkswagen guys already know. I will address that eventually. But all, all in all is not too bad. You got that little corner there. This guy's starting to come off. Same story goes over there. I'm obviously going to be addressing that. Sunroof works as it should. Everything works as it should. The doors close. Just like they did the day the car was sold. And yeah, this car is very, very clean. Still has a valid New Jersey inspection for another year. And now, which is probably the biggest letdown. Depends how you look at it. If I can ever do this one-handed. All right. And now to what is most likely the biggest downfall of this particular car. Yes, I know. You guys are all going to say, oh my gosh, this thing has no power. It has no power. Listen, it is what it is. It's a two liter. This thing is rated to mid 20s in the city. And it, they claim it will do 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. I will be the judge of that. But boy, just look around here. Like, this thing is like a time capsule. Everything looks as it should. Everything is where it should be. There's nothing missing. Everything was taken care of. I'm sure this uh, timing belt, by the way, which I have not yet inspected, it's going to need uh, some um, changing. But yeah, other than that, I mean, there she is. She's clean, man. She's very clean. I'm uh, actually today on my day off. I'm going to take this piece off this lower lip because as you guys can see, it's damaged over there. And I want to go ahead and uh, order one. But guys, yes, I know it's got a little bit of side swipe here, but look at these fenders. You Volkswagen guys know what I'm talking about. There is nothing going on here. There's no rust whatsoever. You Volkswagen guys know know about the rust issue with these fenders. Yeah, needless to say, I'm going to be taking these covers off and putting some rust proofing. But yeah, you see it right. There is absolutely, positively, no rust. So yeah, what else can I tell you? No, no Carfax reported accidents. And uh, last but not least, this one was a surprise that was in the glove box. And boy, let me tell you, this was a really cool surprise. You guys ready? Yes, what you're looking at is the original window sticker. And look at that. That's how much it cost brand new back then. And I get not only those two, but another key. So you get three keys and there's the mileage. As I stated before, this is spicy red and it's the black leather, leather package, I should say, with an automatic transmission. So yeah there's the <laughs> 115 horsepower Woo! you better watch out that's a lot of power man <laughs> all right so here's the deal mileage i know you guys are dying to know about that after i tell you the mileage i will tell you how much i paid for the car you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below all right here we go what is the mileage on this 2004 Volkswagen Golf Jetta GLS with a two, two liter engine. Mind you, this car is 17 years old. Ready? There it is. That is not a misprint, guys. This car, 17 years old, only has 46,000 miles. I dare to say this might be one of the lowest mileage Mark IV uh, Jettas out there. If you have one with lower miles, please let me know on the comments down below but tell me this is not impressive you saw the car you saw its condition uh 
2004, 46,000 miles. I mean, 17 year old car with that kind of mileage. How much would you have paid for it? Would you have bought it? Should I have uh, passed on? I mean, I wasn't even looking for a Volkswagen, but uh, this was a no brainer. This was one of those deals that you hear about, uh, you know, it was for sale in front of a house that was for sale and they needed to move the car along because the owner actually passed away. And to me, it was a no brainer. After test driving the car and seeing what I saw, I knew that I had to have it. Um, how much do you think I paid? How much better yet, how much would you have paid for it? Drop me a comment down below. Well, without any further ado, I paid, you ready? $3,500 for it. Was it a good deal? You guys let me know. As always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost there, man. We're almost at a thousand. I appreciate everybody and their support. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, and until next time, I will see you on the next one.